Esopus is my happy place. It is a place that I feel connected. It's a place that I, place that I feel accepted and loved. It's a great sense of family and belonging to a community. As soon as I go through those gates, it's like, I just am in a completely different place. But it's sometimes hard to explain to others, you know, what's, what's Maris, what's the Sopus? That's a weird name for a town. Why are you going out there all the time? Yeah, it's once you go Maris, you never go back. It's, it's hard to let that go. It's such a, a positive and loving lifestyle and charism and um, I guess teaching that, that once it's in you, I don't know why you would ever want to, to give that up. Like when I come here to Esopus and I see the other people on the committee with me, that I just know like my Maris identity is stronger now and I, I just makes me want to stay connected for life. I went through the Maris Brothers High School in Roselle and um, uh, when I left there I was searching for you know, something more to maintain a connection with this idea of marriage, with the values that I have learned, with the family spirit that I had encountered at Roswell Catholic. The province of the United States decided to support the young adults by giving us, you know, Brother Steve to be the director of young adult ministry, by giving us a house up here in Esopus to be the, the marriage young adult community. And so the province made a decision to support us as young adults growing in our marriage identity. Twice a year, the Marist Young Adult Advisory Committee gathers together in person up here in Esopus in the Marist Young Adult community. Um, and we do things like plan out the year, set long range goals for the program, uh, and spend time together to continue to grow in our, our own Marist identities as a group and build relationships with each other. We meet for spiritual, social, and service events in the region. But to come here is kind of the heartland and, and the homeland of everything we do. So to be with my friends from Texas, Miami, Chicago, New York, New Jersey, it's, it's that sense of unity that I think motivates us to keep doing what we're doing because it reminds us of, of who we are as Marist and, and why we're here to serve others. We do have a few events every year just to bring people together. If anything, just, just to reconnect with each other and, and see old friends, but um, hopefully we give them that, that Marist experience again and we remind them what it is to be Maris. Growing up, going to church, I mean, it was very cut and dry. It was um, black and white, and being a part of the Maris community has made me realize that I can spread my faith and watch my faith grow in many different ways. We laugh, we pray, we cry, we sing, and it's just an amazing feeling when you're around them. We have a very big community here in New York and New Jersey, so it's it's easy for us to plan things. It's easy for us to stay connected and to stay together. And that's the big goal for the Marist community is to stay connected. Well, I love doing the service projects. That's like the main reason I stayed, like I stayed connected with Marist because they're big on service. And that's always been something true to my heart. Finding Marist, I felt like I was in heaven because I love that feeling that we get when we help someone out. I went to Roseville Catholic High School and then I recently graduated from Seton Hall University. And this year I've been living up in the Esopus property at the Marist Young Adult Community as uh, one of the Marist Volunteers. In the beginning, where this is like our campfire area, where we would have campfires for like groups of like 30 to 40 people. And I would have to be in the middle like leading a campfire in terms of songs and dances and et cetera, et cetera. I was like so nervous and shaky and all my words were like planned out. What am I gonna say? What am I gonna do? By the end of this, I was leading a campfire of over 130 people and just confident and happy, thinking like I know like I've progressed and grown so much to this point that I can sit here in front of everyone and show this and not be afraid. Yeah, it was transformative. I learned from just working with the brothers and working with all sorts of groups that I like to be around people and especially educating kids in all shapes and fashions is something that I can see myself really doing for the rest of my life. I've been very privileged to be able to see people grow not just in their faith but also in their relationships with each other. I think in those relationships they also experience God. It's been a fantastic experience to be able to be with uh, these young adults in the, over the last three or four years. I think 
I think that at every opportunity I've had to encounter, um, whether it be a Marist brother, a Marist young adult, um, a Marist student, a uh, Marist youth, um, a Marist faculty member, whatever it is, whenever I encounter a Marist, uh, I find that um, I'm personally changed and I personally grow in, in that experience, in that encounter. I grow as a, a human being in my relationship with God, in my relationships with others. Um, and I think that part of that growth has helped me and, and brought me to where I am today. Going into college, I think, is a hard transition. And the young adults provide a sense of support and a sense of stability for the transition. Um, we want you to feel that you can turn to us. It's never too late to reconnect. Um, if you had a great experience in your Marist High School and, and if you've been kind of disconnected for a few years, I'm sure if you, if you came to an event in your region, you'd see people that, that you knew from high school, people that had the same experiences as you, people who, who value the same things that you do. So to come back would be, I think, an enriching experience. When life gets tough, you know, this is definitely a group that you want to be involved with. We have online retreats that we do through Marist Young Adults. We have the website, we have prayer walls, that we, if we ever have a prayer we need to be, um, we need people to pray for, it. we can put it on there. We have resources. Just, there's so many ways of keeping in touch and contact that it's, it's hard not to. Stay connected with us because it's definitely something that will change your life.